Okay. Bazinga. <laughs> I have cancer. Okay, so now what I do is as soon as Grom spawns, you always just insist my dad. So looks like Sauce is going to clear his bot side now. He might try doing three camp and invade on me. So I'm gonna be careful of that. So we do is we do our wolves now. And then we go raptors, red, and krugs. <laughs> Mika! Thanks for five gifts. I'll give you a win this game, Mika. I got you. Thank you. So now what we do is... Because we don't know if Sasa is going to invade us or not, we drag the red out here. In this bush. So now if Silas comes and he tries smite my red, he doesn't have vision, so okay. But thank you, bro. Appreciate that. So it looks like Silas ganged bot with level 3. So I'm guessing that what he did is he did red raptors into Gromp. I'll just catch this wave, try to get level 4, and if I have level 4, I'll just go on Chisana. See? Just like that. And now we can just keep chasing Karma as well. Perfect. So we got the flash on, which is really good. Yeah, they just seem back off. So what I need to do now is take my Krugs reset, and then we have our owning boots. Uh, Kiwi, thanks for Prime. Welcome. Thank you. I just realized Amy Team also doesn't have an exhaust as well. So it's going to be really good for us. I need to run instantly bot, because what Sas could do here is he could take blue. And then after he takes blue, he could try for bot gang. So I'm pathing bot side. If he tries that, at least I'm here to like counter it. So we secure that. We get a shove in so that there's no freeze that happens mid. No, uh, Zafius, thanks for Prime. Welcome. Thank you. So what we're going to do is since we have all our cams coming up, I'm just going to full clear top to bot. And I should be chilling. I could run mid to catch this way, but I'd only up getting that for like four minions. So it isn't worth. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna full clear top to bot here, and then we're gonna look for some kind of bot gank. I'm not gonna use my W on cams, by the way, so I can conserve mana. Because when you don't have tier, you have mana problems, so you can be using your W. Uh, Crow, thanks for two months. Welcome back. Thank you. So that's the thing, a lot of people say they have mana issues when they're playing Hecarim and they don't have tier. I mean, you should. That's why you just don't use all your abilities. I was going to look for a mid gank, but he's already level 6, so I, there's no way I can do that. So instead what I'll do is I'll try to look for some kind of bot gank here. We know that Karma's flash is down, Chisona has her W up. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait. And then I'll just run in and we kill Karma here. Well, I mean, that Mumu hard trolled by queuing onto the Trist, but it's fine. Perfect. We still end up getting the double kill, so now I can get my tier and my uh, longsword. A Mumu would have needed to focus the uh, Karma there, though. I don't know why he flash queued the Trisana. I'm passing straight bot, by the way, because this bot wave is going to crash, and they might look for a dive on MF. And also, my Krugs are up, so I can get three Q stacks off Krugs, and if they try diving bot here, I can counter it. 
So just said to find the MF here. So now I'm looking mid, it looks like the enemy team is trying to like mid for something there. So what I'll do is I'll run up there and I'll path towards my blue buff. No, 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 you're not going to do this. You're going to come to my blue. Because there's a chance that Sauce is invading my blue here, so that's what we want to counter. Let's see. I just ghosted because more guys are assault. I've seen one more count for level 6, so I'm going to start, like, taking the scuttle. I have 3 Q-Sacks off scuttle, and then I'll smite it. Perfect. I would have actually gone for that fight if... <laughs> if I would have actually came up like she should have there. I don't know why Ari just went back mid like that. The uh, panda, thank you the prime Welcome. Thank you. You're here for mid-bees? What's up, Tony? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take Gromp, and then after Gromp, we're going to go Wolves into full bot side clear. Because again, the enemy team doesn't have exhaust, so all I need to do this game is clear until I get the M's and they're okay. Okay. So I'll just do red and then I'll do my Krugs after a reset and then maybe look for Herald. And then after that I'm gonna look for recall and then I wanna look for serrated dirk longsword. Our MF already has her Krakens there, so she's insanely fed. If I can get Herald so that we can start, like, opening up towers with MF, that's her main play. Oh, shit! Sejuani solo killed Mord! The fuck? How's that happen? What key do I have attack move click on? Uh, spacebar. Because when I was younger, I saw Radar L space glider, and I said, I'm going to become a space glider. So then I set my attack move to space. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll probably look for a ball play with alt up. I'll let Ari take that and then I'll just go for the karma. I want that kill. I could have given it to Ari, but I need resources too. Can't just give everything to my team. <laughs> That's for the raid, bro. I got you, Kale. As I heard the raid notification, I had to make a little, a little crazy play for you, bro. Well, thank you, man. Hope you're doing well. So now we just get our reset off. We can grab Umbro Glaive, and then we're just gonna refill clear into dragons. So now all we have to do is we go for refill clear, bot, top to bot, and then we're chilling. Minute on uh, our alt left, so once we have that up, then we can look for another bot opportunity. I just want to spam bot place with MF, because she's insanely fed. She probably even 1v1 Mordekaiser. They might be invading me on this. Ok, 
Okay, so I just queue this to keep Q socks, but I'm not actually gonna commit for drag here. So the main problem is that Sauce took the Amumu ult. That's what I'm scared of. Cause I could they just get chain CC'd and then die. Okay, just cue this for... I mean, I'm gonna die for that, but MF should 100% be able to get a kill here. If not even like more than one. See? Unless she's just not auto attacking. I mean, she got some, it's fine. But if she would have, like, actually autoed there, I don't know why she stopped autoing. If she would have actually autoed, it would have been a triple kill. Good. So then Yi fucks off as well, so we get fed MF now, and I can probably look for... Can probably look for... Again, another top to bot full clear. Five car stream live? Alrighty. Why does it chill out they have vision of you? I'm pretty sure it's just a bug. Okay, so now I just want to refill clear top to bottom, and then we look for dragon. Sauce can take my ult, can take a Mumu ult. Dude, the thing is, Sauce has such good ults this game that he can take. There isn't a single bad one. Apart from maybe like Ari? Even then. Okay, so all I need to do here is we just finish full clear, and then we can probably look for dragon. Here. Just want to enforce this. I have ults, I have ghosts, I have everything I need. We have ults on everybody. This is just a free drag. And then we can probably even look for a bot side invade after. If enemy team tries defending bot in there, or bot outer, I mean, we can look for their kills there. Easy. Just like that. And I'll just run through here and we look for these kills too. She was starting to really thought she did something there with her, like, flash shots. I respect it. Now, I just got my Krugs reset, and then we have big power spike. I'm pretty sure we can get Mur Mad Immune. It's not upgraded to Mirror Mana yet, but it's okay. How's it going, my guy? I'm chilling, Saber. I'm chilling. When am I going to be doing a viewer meetup? Probably after season ends. I've been considering a lot, and I think that's probably like, the best idea. After the season ends, I'll take a day off and just like if you're a meetup somewhere. I'm not sure where yet, but we'll see. <laughs> so, what we have to do is we take the scuttle and then we go Herald. Nah, I don't want to do Herald. It's about opportunity. I'm not even gonna go for my Gromp. Even Gromp's a bad idea here. What my play is, is I get Q sacks off Wolves. And then maybe look for a snipe kill on Shosana. Shosana doesn't realize that she's completely undefended. Fuck me. I wanted to wait until she W to use my E auto.
Kill that sauce, flash down, and now we can just kill them all. You see? I'm not gonna walk up too far because Morkaiser could solve ult. Easy. So you manage to like stall them for as long as possible and then we're good. Playing Hecarim in team fights is a lot like edging, if that makes sense. You don't want to go in and right away just blow like blow your entire combo on the enemy. You kinda wanna go in and set them up for it, you know? Play with them a little bit, tease them. And then after when you're ready, then you just fucking all in. If that makes sense. It's very fucking hype. Real hacker mains know exactly what I mean. And then what I'll do now is I'll just look for a refill clear, top to bot, and then we're chilling. <laughs> You're doing good, big love. Thank you, Vekra. Appreciate that. Okay, so now I'm coming with Q Sacks. I drag this Raptor out, finish it with Q, and now we're chilling. I don't want to walk up because if I do Mordecai's ultimate, I'm dead. Other just can't walk up unless we know Mordecai's ult is down. I need to get Drakthar and QSS before I can actually like fight. Once I have those items, that's why I can go crazy. What I'll do is I'll even get my QSS before I get Drakthar. I think it's just way too important in this game. So we're going to get our QSS, and then we'll get Drakthar as the next item, and then we'll be okay. Alrighty. I kind of just want to shoot a Herald mid. I have three Q socks. Perfect. And that's why I got QSS. Perfect. So now what I can do is I don't need to stay mid with my team. I can look for the enemy's bot side to clear, and then I can look for dragon after. So that's why when you're playing Hecarim, right, and your team has a winning play, don't just, like, AFK in a lane. Look for ways to get a bigger lead. And this game, this is our way of doing that. I'm just going to grab bread, uh, raptors, and we're going to do wolves, gromp, and then we're going to look for baron right after. No point in me resetting since I don't really have any gold. Lethality, hacker him, every game, bro. Every game. So now we're just going to take this, we're going to go wolves, we're going to go gromp, and then we're chilling. See how you always leave the jungle camps at 1 HP and finish them with Q? So maintain Q socks, so are your entire clear. I have QSS up already because I have Ingenious Hunter. Ye shows bots, so we know that this fight's 4v5. Take it. Oh, I'm here. I mean, I played that fight as, as well as I could have, but I just don't have the damage yet. I really need to get... Once I get a drag there, I'll be okay. And, uh, Neon, thanks for Prime. Welcome. Thank you. And, uh, it's insane. Thanks for the Prime. Welcome. So looks like our team's winning this fight, so we just got Baron for free. Which build is Hecarim better for Hecarim right now? Phase Rush, Dustblade, or Conquer Divine? Well, this is how I always explain it, okay? 
The way I always explain it is this way. When you play Conqueror Divine, you're playing to be a part of your team. When you play Phase Rush Duskblade, you're playing to be the team. So, it's up to you. What kind of player are you? Are you the one who takes control of the game? Who 1v9s? Or are you the one who you just want to be the team player? And depending on what your answer is, that's about the setup that you should be going. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to sit here, take wolves, and then I'll probably just go raptors. Alright, so now we just force this. I'm just hearing it to keep Q socks. I mean, can we just force this? Go, take it. The repens, thanks to the prime, welcome. Thank you. You're the beta cuck who watches while your team does everything? You know that's actually a really good analogy. Playing League is like being in a threesome. Imagine you, you're there with your friend and a girl, okay chat? It's like, are you the guy who sits there and you tell your friend, my turn? Or are you the guy who like, you suck your friend off a bit so it gets harder for the girl? Right? And depending on what your answer to that question is, that's whether you go Conquer Divine or Phase Rush Lethality Hackram. Type 1 if you know exactly what I mean. Type 2 if you have no fucking clue. In game though. Okay, so now I just want to take the red. No point in resetting yet because I don't have enough for, uh. I don't have enough for my Dust Blade. I need to kill this. Nice. I mean, it's kind of cancel. I can actually kill out there, but it's fine. <laughs> what a good day to have ears. I know, Shane. So what I'll do now is I'll just reset, so that we get a good re recall off, and then we get dust blade, and then after that, I'll grab an elixir, and then we can also grab the dragon. So here a lot of people be like, dude, just go mid and end the game. But what happens if my team 5-man dives, the enemy fountain, they all int, and then the enemy team has a way to win this game. So that's why I'm coming here and I'm doing dragon. So that if they sit here and my team ends, then at least we have a third dragon, then we can play for soul win con. You always want to play for secured win cons. Just in case team ends. But they didn't, so it's okay.